Well, just when you think we finished with the Alban Film Festival, we actually meet up with one of the winners who wasn't here to receive his award on the night, Rory. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. I mean, we're, well, and while we're doing the interview, of course, we're going to show a bit of, bit of your movie. I don't want to give it all away, but set on the, the London underground, following the tracking of a, of a newspaper through its Yeah, day. well, I mean, uh, the, the concept uh, kind of came around through just observation, mere observation, you know, travelling on the uh, underground every day you know, for a year in London, I went to study in London, and and it was kind of an idea uh, that was written down, um, we wrote a script, we wrote a lot of it, is, the script is just full of description, and then we looked at the logistics of filming it, and it turned out that filming on the underground is actually, you know, quite straightforward. Um, <laughs> you say that, but for uh, professional crews to get all the paperwork and everything, it's a nightmare, isn't it? It is, yeah, well, I mean, we, we managed to get a licence that was um, uh, for a, valid for a month, uh, we put ourselves down as an unprofessional crew. Well, you know, a non-professional crew, um, which we were. We were we were a crew of five, um, all very sort of hardworking people. And then we obviously rotated the cast, and it, it was fifty pounds for a month wow. um, to to kind of just get in there and, and film on the underground. And it was, you know, there was a lot of logistical challenges because obviously there's delays on the tube and and things, you know, and line closures and all sorts of things. And the, the day was, a, I mean, it was a fifteen-hour shoot day, very stressful. Uh, well, not not too stressful, but a, a lot of a lot of sweat, a lot of work. I mean, it, it's beautifully filmed, we can see this. Um, did you have the whole idea in your head? Was it storyboarded out? Or did you do a bit of it on the, on the fly a bit? We did, well, what we did is, um, we, I had a great cinematographer that I worked with called Richard Allen. Um, he's uh, based in London. And um, he, we, we planned it all out. We, we wrote a script. I wrote a script with a guy called James Unwin, who's um, an actor in London as well. And uh, he co-produced it with me. He, uh, we wrote the script and we, um, we then planned all the shots out as, as best as we could. Some, you know, we were given situations where there was one of the tubes broke down and we had to compromise. So it was, it was you know, very Vigorously planned. I spent about seven days in prep on the underground itself, um, you know, going and visiting 90 different stations and and all this sort of thing. And and it, um, you know, it, it it was you know a lot of planning went into it, yeah. and it was. Well, you weren't there on the night to pick up the award, but you won you won some money, I believe. Didn't yeah. You? Well, yeah. I think it won. I think it was either best yeah. non-fiction or, or and then the overall award, which was you know I was I was sitting in a restaurant in London and incredibly tough to hear about but I mean it's great I mean the, the Alaman Film Festival has been, been great I've heard fantastic things about it I've uh, been fortunate enough to see some of the films as well and they, they all look very fun, you know all look very good I mean Will Sutton's works great and then um, you've got Ed and John's uh, film as well which I've seen which looks yeah. stunning so you know there's some there's some great filmmaking talent on the Alaman Finally, was the Metro newspaper not interested in, in using your work in some adverts in the future? The Metro, yeah, they they've shown an interest in using it. Have they? Um, so they they they're still it's still awaiting. They 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 did say they want to kind of maybe look at featuring it on their website. So we'll have to wait and see. And for you, you want to be a filmmaker professionally in the sense of doing movies or what? Yeah, well, I mean, sh storytelling is is what you know I love. So um, filmmaking, uh, I, I work in London freelance at the moment uh, doing kind of lots of corporate jobs but I want to kind of be on the sort of short film side of things and you know potentially looking at coming over to shoot the next project in the Alaban because I mean it's it's such a great place to shoot film and it's, it's attracting lots of productions over here and that is for a reason in that, that it's, it's, a, it's a great place to film easy place to film and you know you can get a lot of support over here as well so okay. Well, good luck. Remember where you saw him here first, <laughs> and could be the next big thing. I mean, that's such a tricky thing, but you never know. Dear. So competitive, but we're, we're twenty. <laughs>